Need to shrink your sack? Use a love sack shrink kit. Check this out. We're gonna take this six foot super sack and suck it back down into this duffel that I just came out of. We thought of everything. See, sacks are huge. And when it comes time to move or change places or go out to the beach or whatever, you wanna be able to shrink it back down. We're gonna use nothing but a household vacuum, this duffel bag, and the two gigantic plastic bags that come inside of a love sack shrink kit and get this sack down. Just take your vacuum's hose, it's gotta have a hose, and shove it into the khaki like that. That'll take all the air and suck it out of the khaki, through the khaki fabric, into your vacuum. Take the plastic bag and wrap it around the hose really tightly. But whatever you do, don't get the plastic bag sucked up inside the hose. If that plastic bag goes inside of that hose, your vacuum could explode, the bag could melt, your face could melt off, your sack could implode. Okay, probably none of those things are gonna happen, but it's still a bad idea to get that plastic bag sucked up inside of that hose. The goal is to have a clean suction through the khaki, into the vacuum, getting all the air out of the sack. Let's get to work. Now the key to shrinking your sack down in these early moments is not to let it get sucked down on any one side for too long. If it becomes too flat in the beginning, it's gonna be impossible to get it to that eventual uh, cubish rectangular shape that you're trying to get it into to fit inside of this duffel bag. You just gotta get it to suck down in one direction, roll it back, get sucked down in another, all the while being careful not to allow the plastic to get sucked up inside of that hose. Should you tear your plastic bag, don't worry about it. Just take a piece of duct tape, cover up the hole like we've done here, and you can continue to use that bag, well, as many times as you want. Take it to the beach, take it to the drive-in movies, move houses, move states, move countries, take your sack anywhere you want. Love sack shrink kits come in three sizes. There's one for the big one, there's one for the super sack like this one, and there's one for the movie sack. And each duffel bag is a little bit smaller than the duffel, is a little bit larger than the duffel bag that it originally came in. But that's okay, it'll make it that much easier to get it down into it when it comes time. Because your home vacuum is nowhere near as powerful as the original vacuums at our Love Sack factory. If you have a city sack, a pillow sack, a gamer sack, or any one of those other smaller sacks, just buy one of the movie sack shrink kits and suck your sack down into that thing. As it's getting sucked down, it's important to use your body weight on the top to try and shape it into that nice, solid, rectangular form. Okay, the way that you'll know when your cookies are done is that they'll be nice and crisp and hard. The sack inside has got to get, you know, kind of hard. And that's when you'll know that most of the air is out of it and that it's ready for insertion. We're going to take this shrunken sack, put it into that duffel bag, and then zip it up as fast as we can before it has time to expand out of that thing and make a big mess. The whole process up to this point should have taken you about five to 10 minutes, depending on the strength of your vacuum. If you've got a shop vac or some higher horsepower vacuum, it's only gonna make sucking down your sack that much faster. All right, so here we go. Open up your duffel bag, nice and easy. Do not turn off the vacuum or let the hose get pulled out of the hole. All right, do not use the zipper to close the duffel. Make sure you're closing the duffel in front of the zipper. 
close the duffel, then pull the zipper forward slowly so you don't break the zipper head off. That would be a bad move. All right, now here's the key critical point. Once you've got it to here, make sure you zip towards your vacuum hose. You gotta plan ahead so that uh, it's easy to get the thing 90% closed and then remove the vacuum hose. When it, come times to, when it comes time to pull out, you gotta pull out quick, man. Otherwise, you're gonna make a big mess. Gotta yank it out of there and then take all of the stuff that's hanging out and shove it back in before your sack has time to expand again. Don't be alarmed if the sack begins to expand again. The duff is strong enough to take it. That's a love sack shrink kit. That's how it's done. We're out of here.